And as we're fighting it, we're creating situations that allow people to be recruited into that, into that world. So, uh, and we have to remember things from history. I mean, people are saying, oh, you know, we have people that are Americans that have joined Al-Qaeda. I know they're all so surprised. But don't forget, you know, you had British uh, heads of the, the intelligence who turned sides and joined the Soviets. So, you know. Yeah, but you also had British, British commandos who helped set up the uh, state of Israel as well. That's correct. And well, so did American soldiers that were there. And but expanding on that, if you have a thousand predator drones killing people indiscriminately, don't even have to know what their name is because they have a gun in Afghanistan or Pakistan. Easy. That is going to that is going to create real terrorism. Well, the thing is this. Here's the thing. We have created these monsters, so to speak, that we can't talk to them. And if you can't talk to them, then you have to kill them. Uh, and if, if they're saying, well, if you have to kill me, I'm going to fight back. On the other hand, if you create a dialogue and you open a window and you say, wait a minute, wait a minute, you know, uh, let's not do it that way. Let's but the military industrial complex wants war, wants a pretext, wants weapons sales, so it's only going to get worse. Well, Eisenhower threatened against that. He warned us against that. He said at the time, beware of the you know, military industrial complex. And there is one, for example, in Israel. I know that for a fact. The Israeli military wants to try new weapons. They want to try new equipment. They want to make sure that things are happening. And that's why Mossad is part of that same game, saying, you know, we need to develop things so we can protect ourselves. All right, we're going to do just one more segment. We'll have to have you back soon. But we'll go to Free Patriot, David George, a few others with quick questions for our guest. And then uh, we'll definitely have him up uh, sooner than, I don't know how many years. It might have been eight, nine years. I, I forget. I just remember uh, we've had Victor on before, and he, uh, he remembers it as well. Uh, we'll be right back in 70 seconds. Thank you for listening to GCN. Be sure to visit GCNlive.com today. When you're out on the road, the last place you want to be is on the road. But if the unfortunate happens, you'll be glad you were wearing diamond gussets. There's a place down in Tennessee where they make blue diamond gusset jeans. They so pride in every stitch. Guarantee you love the way they fit. Put a diamond gusset in the crotch where you need it most. Blue diamond gussets got it. Others don't. We turn jeans inside out. Diamond gusset jeans. Made in the USA with unparalleled quality. Our Defender motorcycle jeans combine gusset comfort with Kevlar protection so you can ride all day with confidence. Order yours at gusset.com. Diamond gusset jeans got it. Others don't. Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network. All right, final segment with Victor Ostrowski. We will continue uh, with your phone calls into the final hour that we just kicked off. And I got a bunch of news on the BP oil spill, on the economy, uh, on what's happening in China, North Korea. It's all coming up. Uh, but former Mossad case officer, and he's also a, a Navy commander, so uniquely qualified to speak about the flotilla fiasco. Uh, Victor Ostrowski is our guest for about another five minutes. Free Patriot in Ohio, you're on the air. Go ahead. Good, after good afternoon, gentlemen. How are you guys doing today? We're doing good. Go ahead. Um, I have a question. Uh, and this is for uh, mainly uh, towards Victor. If Israel was attacked by other nations and threatened its existence, is it still possible for Israel to initiate the Samson option? Well, Israel has a nuclear capability, uh, and uh, I don't think they consider that. Uh, the Samson option is kind of like a generality that, that is used, uh, which is, you know, we'll take them with us and we'll go. Uh, Israel has the capability of smaller uh, nuclear weapons that can take out enemies that are trying to attack it without destroying itself. Um, nobody around in that area really has the kind of capability uh, to compare. And uh, so um, and head of Mossad just said about a week ago that, that Iran's capability has been hampered and, uh, you know, their whole system is coming down anyway. So, uh, well, yeah, I mean, Iran's trying to have it enriched in Brazil 
and then our own government's trying to block that. So, and it, it'll, it, I mean, that fixes it right there. And Turkey, by the way. Yeah. Turkey and Brazil both offered to do that. So kind of like uh, it, it's, it's, it's a strange thing. But, I, I, yeah, they have the option. They have the military capability and the, the, the nuclear capability to do that. But I don't think it should be called the Samson option anymore because they're, they're, it's not a self-destructive element. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, let's talk to David in Florida. You're on the air with our guest. Go ahead, David. Yeah, Alex, uh, I have a question for Victor. Um, you had a guest on the other day, uh, uh, Mr. Hart, and he was talking about um, the Mossad might be involved with the 9-11, and that was his theory. And I was wondering what Victor thought. Yeah, the former that. BBC reporter, uh, I had him on because he talked to engineers who said it was explosives, and, and we know the buildings were blown up. That's a separate issue. And then uh, he was saying his theory is that, that al-Qaeda was going to do the attack and that, and that Mossad knew about it and, and, uh, because it did come out in our news that Mossad was shadowing them. But uh, what's your tape, uh, take on that, Victor? It's uh, absolutely ridiculous. Uh, I, you know, this is, there's no, there, uh, Israel as a whole, Mossad in particular, uh, and would never get involved in anything like that. Uh, the U.S. is an ally. We disagree on things. Israel disagrees with them. Uh, but never, ever, ever would Israel do that. And if anybody, you know, th this is, um, and again, like I said, I'm not the one defending Israel or, or whatever, but I can tell you that categorically, that knowing the people in the Mossad, knowing a lot of friends of mine who are still working there, uh, that would not be done, ever. This is, uh... Well, here's my issue. Government staged terror, and Israel wanted us to go into the Middle East. But Dick Cheney was in control of the stand-down. Uh, the Pentagon, NORAD, CIA drills that day. And, and, and so I, I see you know, these intelligence agencies all joined at the hip. So I'm, I'm, I mean, I know that you know, in, uh, governments are capable of anything. My whole issue is, uh, and of course I question, you know, I, mean, I expose the entire 9-11 situation, uh, that, that, that people who think Israel did the thing all by themselves... No, I don't that, think Israel was involved at all, period. But, and, and, I know, but what I'm saying is Israel couldn't run the attack, even if you believe that it is an inside job, which I do, Victor. I have well, the evidence. Uh, I'm saying uh, Israel couldn't run the entire attack. Well, uh, Israel could not have been even involved. And, and that would be, you know what, uh, Israel is an open society on that level, and they would have come out... And there is just no, there is no basis for that. And I can tell you that Israel would never, ever do that. But never certainly you've heard that. all the accusations about Israel being involved. I've heard so many things, you know, about the kitchen sink on them. And I'm the first one to point out what they are involved in and what they're not from my personal knowledge. I can tell you that one thing I can guarantee with my life, and I would stake my life on that, that Israel had nothing to do with 9-11. Well, you know what, sir? We've got a break. Do a few more minutes with us under the side, because I'm going to finish up on this discussion uh, with uh, our guest, Victor Ostrowski. Stay with us. You may be arrested and or subject to other police action. Tyranny is here. The grim future foretold in 1984 has become reality. It really says that the state is God. The United States is now recognized globally as one of the most oppressive police states on Earth. This film conclusively proves the existence of a secret network of FEMA camps now being expanded nationwide. This documentary exposes how the continuity of government program has established an all-powerful shadow state. Police State 4 chronicles the sickening depths to which our republic has fallen. Prepare to enter the secretive world of emergency dictatorship. Body scanners, sound cameras, citizen spies, stage terror and cameras on every street corner. It's only the beginning of the New World Order's hellish plan. The police state isn't coming. It's here. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or see it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Hello, this is Alex Jones with some important questions. If you're going into a battle and they give you a rifle and a sidearm, how much ammunition do you want? My answer would be all I can get. In the battle for freedom and the lives of your loved ones, food is your only ammunition. How much do you want? When do you want it? Now or after the battle starts? When will you need it? Can you buy it without proper identification? Will there be any food? Will it make your children sick? If there's a quarantine and you can't feed yourself, will you go to the gathering center and be immunized? You wipe out all these problems if you have a good food supply. 
Food is your ammunition to fight for your freedom and your life. How much will you need? We don't know. How much do you want? All you can get. I'm Alex Jones. I want all of you good guys to live to fight another day. Call 1-800-409-5633 or check it out on the web at eFoodsDirect.com. Again, that number, 1-800-409-5633. Let me tell you a little bit about one of our great sponsors, HomeGain.com. This is the place to get you started buying or selling a home.